What up everybody, it's Jabari from FIT and I'm doing your Nutritional Saturdays. The meal we have planned for you today is called the Panay Italiano. Let's get into it. All right everybody, let's get into this recipe. So for this recipe, you will need a quarter of a sweet onion, three garlic cloves, a red bell pepper, some chopped tomato sauce, I prefer pomi, some pasta penne, some feta cheese, tomato paste, and an additional box of pasta penne, depending on how much you wanna make. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, so now uh, you just wanna mince up all the ingredients. So you have the sweet onion, you got your bell pepper, and you got your garlic there. You wanna put some olive oil, some extra virgin olive oil in there, and then you just wanna uh, put it down to like a medium heat, and you wanna put in all the ingredients. It's gonna sizzle a little bit, so don't be afraid of the pop. Don't be scared of all the pops going on. You wanna put everything in there. You're gonna keep this in there for about eight minutes, or until you feel like everything is well cooked well. Just gonna move it around, give it some juice, some life. If you wanna add your seasoning, some extra seasoning, now will be the time. One of my favorite things to add to this dish would be the Himalayan salt. Um, also, if you want to know where to get the uh, extra virgin olive oil, this is the kind I get. doesn't matter what you get, you can get whatever you want. Um, so you just want to make sure that it's in there for a while. If you can tell over here, I've got my, uh, my water boiling for the pasta, so you can boil this at the same time that you're getting ready for this. You just want to move it around, make sure everything gets real nice and sauteed. You want to go ahead and add in some of that Himalayan salt. Not too much. And then just move it around evenly for about eight minutes. All right, and so now you just want to add in the pasta into the boiling water. You know, you just want to follow the directions on the on the box for this one because all pasta cooks a little differently. Uh, fortunately for me, both of these pastas that I'm just adding right now, uh, they both uh, take about 15 minutes to boil in. So you just want to leave that in there and let it sit. As you can see, I still have my vegetables over here sauteing. Um, it's just about time to add in the tomato paste. So you want to get the tomato paste. All that I added in here was some oregano, some basil, some pepper, and Himalayan salt. You want to take a look at those ingredients. This is the Himalayan salt again. Here's the pepper. And then I just got some of the great value basil going here. And you just kind of put that in there with it. Now that everything seems to be caramelized enough nicely, you want to add that in. And as you add this in, you want to move it around, turn down your heat a little bit. Now you may be thinking this isn't enough sauce for all that pasta that I'm making. That's where your uh, tomato juice reserve comes in. You want to grab your tomato juice reserve. As that cooks a little bit more, you want to grab your tomato juice reserve, bring it on over. And each one of these cans is about 28 ounces, so you want to pour in just a healthy amount. And this is where the the majority of your sauce comes from. Yes, if you're looking, this is definitely a messy, a messy little way to make pasta sauce. But it's homemade. That means it doesn't have all the other extra added preservatives that you'd get from a can. Um, all the ingredients I'm using. Uh, you can find at Sprouts or Whole Foods or even at Walmart. Um, you can get all these things at a, at a pretty uh, low price as well. Um, so you just want to make sure that you get that going in there really nicely. And now that you got it all added up nicely, you can add in a little bit more of your Himalayan salt. Just for a little bit more flavor. And then a dash of pepper. And then you just want to let that simmer for about 15 minutes just to make sure that everything is nice and warm for your pasta. All right, as you can see, the pasta is done. You want to take it when it's done, bring it on over to the strainer, drop it all in there. 
I try to get all the pasta out of the pot just because I don't want to waste any food. But um, you want to save the pot. Always rinse out your pot a little bit. Your pot's gonna go back on the stove. You wanna rinse off your pasta. Get any extra added film off. And then, you're gonna bring it back to the pot. It's all right if you lose a little pasta here. We're going back to the stove, and this is where we add in the pasta sauce. So as you can see, the pasta sauce has been marinating. You just wanna go ahead and put all the pasta sauce in there. I usually put it on here, and then I let it simmer for a little bit. You want to add in all the pasta sauce into the pot. Mix it in thoroughly. Now you just want to add the pasta to your serving container. Get it all in there. All right. The fun part, adding in the feta cheese. I use the feta cheese crumbles. You can add it in this way. What I like to do is, I like to grab a handful and crush it up. Kind of sprinkle it on top. And then you can leave it out to serve to other people for however much they want to use. What I did here is I chopped up some basil. You can put in your little basil sprinkles on top. Come back over with a little bit more cheese from the feta cheese. And there you have it, Panay Italiano. All right, guys, uh, that is our nutritional Saturday. As you can see, we have our Panay Italiano here. Get a good look at that. I'm about to grub. I love y'all as always, and you know what? Run with it.